Almacita di Desolato as an homage to some of my ancestors. My grandfathers come from Europe and my grandmothers come from Africa and I felt it was very important for the spiritual balance in the world to tell my grandmother's background and her stories. So that's why I chose the mythology of the slavery, the, um, vogue, the oral history of the island was my inspiration to make Almacita di Desolato. I was born in Curaçao. I'm an uh, I'm a Caribbean man, but as I said, I'm a Caribbean man with influences from all over the world, so I can relate to all over the world. What I needed was to uh, go into Europe, go into the Western world, like Mexico City, New York City, Amsterdam, to get the Western technology to serve the spirit of the island, so that the Caribbean people can tell the story to the rest of the world, but this time not with. Uh, with bad uh, camera work and with deficient techniques. No, I wanted to show something that had like a Hollywood level of, of technique and tell the story that has to be told. My next film is going to deal with the uh, situation of colonialism in 1948 after the Second World War in Curaçao about a painter who comes to the island and who wants to play, paint a black Madonna in the cathedral and he gets a lot of problems with that. Also the whole aspect of the different skin colors like who is darker, who is lighter, who is better off in the society will be an aspect and of course also the uh, erotic repression, uh, you know, like how do people deal with gay issues in 1948, how was that? Yo vivo obsesionado contigo, el mundo es testigo de mi frenesí. Mi onda sale? Hmm? Serás para mí, solo para mí. Amor es el pan de la vida. Amor es la cosa divina. Amor es un algo sin nombre que obsesiona al hombre por una mujer. I think we already have taken our first steps and I foresee a bright future for us because I do think we are the future. We are the mix of all these elements that have always been separated from each other.